the determinant of a matrix is a number. And we've seen determinants in algebra class and how to calculate them for 2 by 2 and 3 by 3. Here we're going to look at determinants at a deeper level. And first we're going to talk about the three defining properties of the determinant. So the three defining properties, the first one says that the determinant of the identity matrix is 1. And interchanging two rows changes the sign of the determinant. And that the determinant is a linear function of its rows. Now, these three are defining properties, which means that these three alone can give us everything we need to know about the determinant. And so what we're going to do in this video is we're going to try to understand what these properties are, and then we're going to use them to demonstrate other properties of determinants, and ultimately we're going to get all the formulas that we're familiar with in the 2x2 two two and 3x3 three three case, and take a look at all the consequences of, of those properties. So. To start here, let's take a look at the first property, that the determinant of the identity matrix is 1. So what that means is, uh, if I write determinant of 1, 0, 0, 1, that's the 2 by 2 identity, that determinant is equal to 1. Or in the 3 by 3 case, the determinant of 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, this determinant is 1. And we can denote the identity in n by n identity as, um, as i n, and we're going to say that the determinant of this matrix is 1. This next property says that interchanging two rows um, in a matrix changes the sign of the determinant. So, for example, if I have, um, if I have the 2 by 2 matrix a, b, c, d, Okay, and then I write the determinant of C, D, A, B. So what I'm doing here is I'm just interchanging the first and second row. That these determinants are related and one is the opposite sign of the other. So as an example, um, let's take a look at this matrix or this determinant, 4, 3, 1, 2. And we know the formula for determinant here is just multiply the diagonal entry, that's 8, and then the other side, that's 3, and then subtract them, and that's 5. Now, if I were to take 1, 2, 4, 3, so I'm just interchanging the rows, and I apply the formula again, 1 times 3 is 3, 2 times 4 is 8, and that difference gives you negative 5. And so here what I want you to notice is that the answer are opposites of one another, opposite signs. And that's what this, this says, and of course it's true for larger determinants, not just for the 2 by 2 case. Now this third property is um, really crucial, and it's kind of difficult to understand at first. Um, the determinant is a linear function of its rows taken one at a time. Now, linearity has two kind of sub-properties. One is that if you multiply by a number, then you could just take the function and then multiply by the same number. So you can reverse that process. So for example, if I have um, the determinant of A, B, C, D, let me write that again here. Okay, now if I multiply this first row by t, what this property is saying is that I can just take the determinant of a, b, c, d and multiply the answer by t. So I kind of, I can kind of factor out this constant, this multiplier, from one row at a time. Okay, so that's that's one one of the pieces of linearity. The other piece of linearity um, is about adding rows. So if I were to say, okay. Let me say I have a plus alpha, b plus beta, and then cd. And then I'm going to have two other determinants here. I have the determinant a, b, c, d, and the determinant alpha, beta, c, d. So 
the second row is being unchanged. So we're going to do this taking one row at a time. And so the linearity property of determinant says that this is equal to the sum of these two determinants. Okay? And so these two properties together give us linearity. 